now we derive relation for adiabatic compression of substance for that we analysis the variation in temperature during adiabatic compression of gas for that again consider maxwell's thermodynamic relation that is curly t by curly p having entropy constant is equal to variation of volume with respect to entropy having constant pressure so now we write this relation like curly v curly t into p and curly s sorry curly t curly s by p this above equation is can be rewritten as like this when we multiply and divide by temperature so we have this relation according to this that means now for finding the value of specific constant we reverse the order of this equation so it will be first of all again i am repeat this step what's going on we consider a thermodynamic relation so above relation is multiply or divide by temperature that's why i am writing this again we temp multiply and divide by te temperature that is t so we writing equation like this now when we find the value of specific constant so we reverse the order of this so it will be like i am writing t this t and volume v so that's why 1 over v curly v by curly t when constant pressure is divided by now we have this t in denominator that's why i'm writing here so for the value of specific heat we reverse this term we going to reverse order of this term that will be curly s by curly t when pressure is constant why we are writing this because we want to find the value of specific heat so that is cp so as i am writing this so you can write i am putting this function is equal to alpha right which is another constant or you can say that adiabatic constant that's why i am writing 1 over v into curly v by curly t when pressure is constant is equal to alpha so that's why this whole term instead of this term i am writing alpha over here so t v writing as it is again this term is known as specific heat so when constant pressure that's why i am writing cp for that now for this relation again i am writing curly t right hand side curly t by curly p entropy is equals to this right hand side is equal to this function so it will be t v alpha divided by cp now i am rearranging this equation so it will be this is partial derivative of temperature when i'm writing this equation in the form of differentiation it will be dt is equals to tv into alpha divided by cp and this term goes here so it will be in terms of differentiation that is dp which is the required relation in which we assume that tv alpha do not change if alpha is positive that means adiabatic increase in pressure which results increase in temperature right so this is the required relation for adiabatic compression of a substance hope so it is clear to all thank you